Number 15, Tianjin Inferno. On August 12th, 2015, Tianjin, China was rocked by a series of massive explosions coming from the port area a half hour before midnight. A container of dried nitrocellulose, a highly flammable substance, had fell and ignited, causing the initial explosion. Firefighters descended on the scene, desperately trying to control the out-of-control blaze. Residents in the surrounding area also began filming the fire, which could be seen from many parts of the city. At one point, the sky was filled with a bright flash as several more canisters exploded. The shockwave was deafening and the light from the flames lit up the area as if it were daylight. Almost a minute later, a third and much larger explosion occurred, fully engulfing the port in flames and leveling several buildings in the surrounding area. A worker was able to capture the second explosion on his dash cam as he was waiting for a guard to let him into the port area. The driver and guard began to drive away as the third explosion occurs. The shockwave is clearly visible in the video, rocking the guard booth sending trees toppling over, and debris flying past the lucky occupants of the vehicle. It took until the end of that weekend for emergency crews to get the fires under control. Number 14, Ramming Speed. Coincidences happen all the time, some more severe than others. In May 2000, a highway patrol officer was conducting a traffic stop and instructed the woman to move with him to the side of the road away from the vehicles. He explains to her this is because he doesn't want them to be close to the cars in case either his patrol car or the woman's car is hit by another car. Literally seconds after he finishes his explanation, a truck smashes into the woman's car, sending it rolling down into the ditch. Luckily, because of the officer's instruction, Neither he nor the woman were injured. Thankfully, the officer chose to use extra precaution when conducting the stop, since both could have been seriously injured or killed had they been near the vehicle. In another miraculous circumstance, another officer pulled over a large blue truck for speeding. As the officer exited his cruiser and walks towards the passenger door of the truck, he turns and moves just in time to dodge an out-of-control pickup that cornered off the road into the semi and over the guardrail. Neither the officer nor the driver of the pickup were seriously injured, and had the officer's reflexes been a fraction of a second off, it would have been a completely different story. Number 13, Lightning Strike. Nature can provide beauty in such spectacular ways. Lightning is one such spectacle which is common, but still enjoyable to witness whenever it happens. However, one should still remember the dangers lightning can have, which includes starting fires, damaging property, and even causing severe injury to people. Dashcams around the world have captured various encounters with lightning strikes, most of which are way too close for comfort. A dashcam in Russia captured lightning strike an SUV in front of it as it was driving down a busy road in late September 2012. While it certainly made the occupants and surrounding motorists jump, there doesn't appear to be any injuries as the vehicle continued to move, albeit slowing down for a few seconds. Another video from a Mississippi State Police dash cam captured lightning strike the side of a highway in late May 2015. The light is blinding and the sound must have been immense, but nobody was injured. A police officer was on patrol in Pudka, Kentucky when lightning struck his vehicle, disabling his dash cam and engulfing the car in a bright light before the footage goes to black momentarily. Luckily, the officer wasn't injured, but was likely suffering from ringing ears for hours after the event. Number 12, he really hated church. Residents in Utah got quite the surprising news story hit their stands in July 2009. Utah State Police were alerted of a car that ran a stop sign, and soon a Plain City officer, Clint Anderson, was in pursuit of the white car, which was driving erratically down the roads. Anderson initially believed the driver was intoxicated and maintained a distance as he kept on the suspect's tail. After a couple of miles, the car the car turned into a driveway and stopped. To Anderson's shock, a seven-year-old boy jumped out of the driver's seat and ran up the driveway. The child, named Preston Scarborough, later revealed he was trying to avoid going to church. While rather funny due to the circumstances, it is miraculous Preston didn't manage to cause a severe accident during his attempt to flee church. Preston was too young to prosecute, and the parents were not charged after it was determined they were unaware of the incident, nor had they been extremely neglectful. While Preston may have escaped prison, 
death and injury, it can be assumed he received a lengthy grounding that he's probably still serving. Number 11. Flying High A driver in Ohio attempted to pull a Dukes of Hazard in late August 2010. A Sugar Creek, Ohio police officer was responding to a report of a tire in the middle of the highway when his priorities changed in an instant. Without warning, a car sped past the officer into the ditch, hit a mound of dirt, and flew side first into the side of an overpass. The officer and other bystanders witnessed the car fall to pieces along the road. The officer pulled over and rushed to the car, along with several other witnesses who stopped to help. Fortunately for the driver, he was alive but seriously injured. He was rushed to the hospital and managed to make a recovery from the ordeal. An investigation revealed the driver had experienced a fault in the car and lost control, explaining why he swerved off the road. No one else was hurt in the accident, but many witnesses are now extra cautious when driving the roads around their homes. Number 10. Trans-Asia Crash A driver in Taiwan captured more than he ever expected back in February 2015. A Trans-Asia flight had just taken off from the Taipei airport, bound for the Kinmen Islands. When the auto feather unit failed, the pilot and co-pilot mistook the fault for something else and shut off the only functioning engine. This sent the plane plummeting from 500 meters towards a busy road below. One driver managed to capture the moment Flight 235 clipped the side of a bridge and then disappeared out of view. Drivers along the bridge had to quickly dodge debris from the plane that had scattered all over the road. The plane hit a taxi passing by before hitting the river waters below. First responders descended onto the scene, managing to save 15 of the occupants on the flight. The investigation concluded the crash was a result of pilot error, but the manufacturers also took responsibility for the fault and apologized, as well as compensating the families. Several motorists captured the crash from various angles, including one fortunate driver who was only meters away from the taxi that was struck ahead of him. Expect the unexpected has become a well-known phrase today, but we'd understand if no one expects to witness a plane falling from the sky and barely miss their car before crashing to the ground. Number 9. Semi-Slide Traffic stops are never routine for police officers, or so the saying goes. Minnesota state troopers found this out back in January 2017. State patrol troopers had stopped along the road to assist several motorists who had slid into the ditch due to icy conditions. Suddenly, a large semi-truck with a full load slid out of control towards the ditch. One trooper quickly radioed the one ahead of him, just in time for the trooper to back his car out of the way. The semi missed the car by inches and came to a full stop. No one was injured in the incident, though had the quick-thinking officer not radioed his partner, things could have been a lot different, as if some sort of crazy repeat. A highway patrol officer from Kansas almost became victim of a head-on with an out-of-control semi a couple of weeks later. The truck driver was coming on the opposite road of the divided highway when his truck began to skid due to the intense rain. The semi plowed through the ditch and onto the opposing road before jackknifing from the skid. The patrol officer narrowly missed the truck and the debris flying as the truck slid further and further onto the highway. Again, no one was injured, but it shows how unpredictable and scary the weather can make the roads we drive on. Number 8. The Ghost Car Even though police are told to expect the unexpected, nothing could expect officers for this. Garden City Police were in pursuit of a suspected drunk driver who was swerving along the road in the early morning. An officer kept on the suspect's tail, but was having difficulty maintaining the pursuit as the suspect was driving at high speeds and making dramatic maneuvers to evade arrest. The suspect then made a hard left off the road, and as the officer pulls left as well, he is left staring as the suspect drives away from the opposite end of a chain-linked fence. The fence at the end means no way out, or does it? Dumbfounded, the officer was left to watch as the suspect drove off and disappeared. The footage has become a sensation, and many have claimed the car is in fact a ghost car, possibly driven by a spirit who perished in a drunk driving accident. Skeptics believe the car either drove under the fence in an unseen ditch, or even managed to jump over. However, people have quickly pointed out the intact fence to debunk the former theory, and the lack of disturbance to the ground for the latter. Officers of Garden City have refused to comment on the ghost car, since the investigation is ongoing, but since since then, the ghost car has faded into history. Number 7. Alberta's Taste of Hell Throughout May 2016, the city of Fort McMurray, Alberta was ravaged by a massive series of forest fires. While initially not being a threat to the communities in the area, the wind shifted the direction of the fires straight towards Fort McMurray and the various surrounding communities. The mayor's office quickly declared an emergency and ordered the evacuation of all residents in the city. However, many were still not out by the time the fires reached the edges of their communities.
communities, Fort McMurray resident Michael Chamberlain filmed his escape on dash cam just as the flames reached the trees bordering his neighborhood. Viewers can feel the heat from the flames as they watch, since they appear to be intense and growing. There is also an overwhelming sense of fear, literally meters away from touching you. The backseat cam at one point captures a motorist forced to drive on the sidewalk in order to escape the intense heat. Chamberlain managed to make it out, and in a funny twist is heard phoning his office, notifying them that he would not be in for a shift later that night. Due to the quick reactions of residents and coordination by emergency personnel, everyone was safely evacuated from the area. It was the largest evacuation in Alberta's history, and one of the most costliest disasters in Canadian history, having burnt more than 1.5 million acres between May 3rd and June 1st and costing $9.5 billion in damages. Number 6. War Zones War never changes, and many innocents find themselves caught in the crossfire. Residents of the Ukrainian city of Mariupol have come under heavy bombardment from both the Ukrainian military and Russian separatists in the eastern part of the country. One unlucky or lucky, depending on how you view it, driver was going about his business when out of nowhere, rockets struck the ground around him, and he frantically drove away from the scene. Residents in the city of Kramatorsk also experienced periodic shelling, and dashcam has filmed drivers frantically trying to escape. Convoys in Iraq and Afghanistan have also captured various encounters with their dashcams. One particularly scary incident shows an army convoy escorting contractors through Baghdad. When grenades began exploding around them and they started taking automatic fire, the convoy quickly accelerates back towards their base as the rear guard engages the attackers behind them. Those examples show how unpredictable war is and how an attack can happen at any moment. Number Five, struggling for his life. When things go wrong while on duty, officers are trained to take any means necessary to de-escalate the situation and to protect themselves and others. In November 2015, Officer Sean Hyman of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota pulled over a man and conducted a traffic stop. After checking the man's ID with dispatch, it was discovered the driver, Lance Carr, had a felony warrant for his arrest. Carr had no intention of going in and began fighting Hyman viciously. Unable to get to his taser, sidearm, or radio, Hyman desperately called for help as Carr wrestled the officer and struck him several times with his fists. Nearby residents heard the officer's cries for help and called 911. Others left their homes and screamed at Carr to stop, but Carr was determined to get the officer's gun and escape. Eventually, the officer fired off a shot, but it missed. Hyman then deactivated the weapon so Carr couldn't use it. Soon after, backup arrived and rushed to pull Carr off Hyman, even using a taser to incapitate Car. Eventually, he was cuffed and placed into custody. Car was charged as a result of the incident. Hyman survived with minor injuries thanks to the residents who heard his cries and called for help. Number 3. The Hard Choice The day an officer has to draw and fire his or her weapon is the day he or she never wishes to happen. Unfortunately, they sometimes have no choice. In an incident in Fargo, North Dakota, Fargo police officer Patrick Thomas was one of several officers searching for a carjacking suspect when he came across him in the parking lot. Upon exiting his car, Thomas saw the suspect was holding a gun and he immediately began ordering the suspect to drop the weapon. Weapon. Drop the gun! Drop the gun, man! Drop it now! Drop it now! Never. The suspect refuses and walks towards the car, pointing the gun at Thomas as he ducks around the back of the cruiser. Eventually, the suspect begins to walk around, forcing Thomas to move. After several more orders to drop the gun, the suspect points the weapon at Thomas, then doubles back towards the front. Thomas then fired his weapon, hitting the suspect several times. The suspect cries in pain as Thomas radios and shots fired and rushes to secure the suspect. More officers arrive and quickly apprehend the wounded gunman. It was later revealed the gun was a realistic looking BB gun, but Thomas believed it to be a real gun and was determined he act in self-defense. The suspect survived the shooting and is facing charges of carjacking. Number 2. Heroes in Blue With the wide criticism of police officers today, it's easy to miss their moments of heroism in all the dark. On October 12, 2016, Hood County, Texas 911 received a frantic phone call from a mother and father after their three-year-old, Braden Geese, stopped breathing. Braden had suffered a seizure and became unresponsive following the episode. Officer Chase Miller was the first to arrive on the scene, and he quickly jumped into action. Braden's mother, Beth, was cradling her son in her arms when Miller took him and began performing CPR. As Miller made chest compressions, he instructed the father, John, to perform mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. The two worked non-stop for two minutes with no change. However, Millen refused to give up and it paid off. Braden took a breath and began to show signs of life again. Braden was rushed to the hospital and made a full recovery. Doctors have credited Braden's survival to Miller's quick action and refusal to give up. 
believing it was crucial in Braden coming back from the brink of the footage found its way circulating on news networks until it became a national and international story. The Glenbury Mayor, Nin Hewlett, awarded Miller with a special life-saving award for saving Braden's life, and it was presented to him by the Geese family. Beth has expressed her thanks to Miller in many media interviews, saying there's nothing I can give him for saving my son's life. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Russian Meteor Since it was determined a meteor caused the mass extinction of the dinosaurs, humans have kept a close eye on objects in space in order to prevent a repeat of that devastating event. However, thousands of objects are known to enter Earth's atmosphere, albeit not large enough to even stay intact to crash into the the ground. On February 15, 2013, residents of the Urals region of Russia were stunned by a large bright object descending from the sky. It lit up so bright, it appeared as a second sun, with a temporary blinding light in some parts. The meteor exploded in the Earth's atmosphere, sending shockwaves across the landscape. This was strong enough to break windows and damage buildings several miles away. A factory sustained irreparable damage causing it to be demolished. Several injuries were also reported, but all were relatively minor. It ranged from injuries from debris to eye strain. Scientists immediately saw the impact crater of the meteor debris and discovered a six meter hole in the ice of Lake Chibercol. It was confirmed to be the impact site after several meteorite specimens were recovered from the water and surrounding area. The following year, on the one year anniversary, special gold medals were given to athletes during the Sochi Olympics to commemorate the event. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!